What a play as it's war boss Tay up in this mud. Oh, what a busy few weeks I've had. Thought I'd do something completely different from my normal ogres, uh, space marines, and all that other stuff. And I got back into these dwarf slayers. Or more precisely, the Games Workshop Dwarf Slayers and the Avatars of War Dwarf Berserker. So I'm going to be doing a painting tutorial on these guys, but this little video is for uh, my good buddy Ringo, who is coming up on his one year anniversary. And he said he wanted to have a little thing where you can make a video and submit it and just make it be something that you painted up between the beginning of his little uh, showcase and April, I don't remember which April, what, what day in April it was, where he started filming his first videos, but definitely check it out there. I'll include a link in the description as soon as this video is uploaded. And mostly I've been using the Games Workshop recipe for doing the, the hair and the skin, but I, I went a little bit differently on the hair. I don't actually have Troll Slayer Orange, so I, I used some, some different formulas, but let me know what you think. It's got a little bit more of a reddish kind of shade to it, and I kind of like that instead of it being completely orange. It kind of goes from dark red up to this kind of bright orange. I did the tattoos in Incubi Darkness, followed by, I believe it was either Cabalite Green or I think actually no, it was Warpstone Glow for the tattoos, and I, I think those came out really nice. And then you do a little bit of shading of the skin tone over it so it doesn't look like it was just painted on the skin, it kind of looks like it's underneath the skin. If you look at this guy's tattoo here on his head, you can kind of see what I mean. Uh, love the Avatars of War figure. I, I'm gonna, I've I'm i got another one that I'm planning to do a tutorial on. And I also have a GW Slayer that I'm planning to do a tutorial on. So you can kind of see the step-by-step -step process of how I got them to look like this. And you might have noticed, but I did the blue and white circus pants for the Door Slayer and my tartan pattern for the Berserker. And I think it came out all right. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the description below. Don't forget to head over to Ringo's video and uh, submit something for that. I've got so much stuff left to do. I see everybody's terrain projects coming up really nicely for Idic Beer's um, March competition. So I've got my project ready to go for that, even though I'm starting a little bit late. I hope you are, all are doing really well out there. I'm sorry I haven't been posting uh, very much lately, but it's been crazy couple of weeks here. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and uh, thanks for watching this video of these little orange mohawk dwarves. Latest players!